Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve this distance uh, rate problem. So the problem reads, a passenger train left the station and traveled toward the repair yard at an average speed of 29.2 kilometers per hour. A cattle train left 2.4 hours later and traveled in the same direction, but with an average speed of 36.5 kilometers per hour. How long did the passenger train travel before the cattle train caught up? So what we need to do here is we first need to know our distance equals rate times time equation. And that equals distance equals rate times time. We have to understand that whenever we did a word problem and we see distance, rate, and time, we need to understand that we have to use this equation. The next thing that you're going to want to know is if you, to get this with the probe problem, guys, you're really going to have to draw something up, make a picture of it. So it does not need to be crazy. Here's your train station. Here's the yard, okay? We know that one train goes like this, and then the other one leaves 2.4 hours later, and they meet somewhere before the train station. So now we have a kind of a diagram that we can look up to and you know, see how we're going to figure this out. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to organize all of this. So we know there's a passenger train. And we also know there's a cattle train. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to do the distance equals rate times time to set up my or to set up my information for both of these. So, the distance. We don't know how far they traveled. It doesn't say they traveled so far. We don't know the distance that they traveled when they met up. So, we have an unknown of D. Then, the passenger train said it traveled at 29.2 kilometers per hour. And then it says the time, but we don't know exactly what the time is. We, so again, we have another unknown variable, which is t, because we know they traveled a certain distance, which we don't know, and they crossed, but we don't know how long it took them. The cattle train, again, traveled that same distance, but we don't know what that distance is, so we're going to leave it as d. However, now this one has a rate of 36.5 meters per second, so it's a little bit faster. And then the next thing is it says it left 2.4 hours later. So how can we algebraically represent a train leaving 2.4 hours later? Well, if the time is t, then leave 2.4 hours later, we're going to subtract 2.4 from our time. So now I have two expressions. I have 29.2 times t and 36.5 times t minus, or minus t times t minus 2.4. And again, we do not know the distance or the time. However, there's one thing that's really important, is when you have both these equations solved for d, and we also know that d, if you notice, where they cross that distance is going to be equal for both of them. So what I can do is I can set up my equation to say 36.5 times t minus 2.4 is equal to 29.2t. Right? We know that distance that they travel is equal. So what I'm going to do now is just do a little algebra and set this up. So if I use my distributive property, I get 36.5t uh, mi minus 87.6 equals 29.2t. Then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to get my variable on the same side. So I'll subtract a 36.5t from both sides. I get negative 87.6 equals a negative 7.3t. Now when I solve for t by dividing by negative 7.3, I get t is going to equal 12 hours. And that is going to be our final answer. So we'll know that the time that it's spent for them to meet equal 12 hours. So the really important thing, guys, is know your equation. Make sure you draw a diagram. And just set up with your information. And just try to set up your own equation that you can solve for your missing variable. And that's how you solve a distance rate time.